What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about maybe you're not getting notifications on your Samsung Galaxy S23 or your Galaxy phone in general. It could be anything running One UI 5.1. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you can make it show those notifications. There's going to be two reasons why I'm going to walk you through both of them. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first thing that you want to do is swipe down from the top twice and you're gonna go into the gear at the very top right. That's gonna bring you into settings. From here, you wanna go down until you see apps. So tap on apps. And then from here, you're going to see your apps. So you can click the little button next to it and you can sort them by name, size, last updated, or, you know, so hopefully you know the name of the app, but basically find the app in here. And that's, you have an issue with, it could be Gmail, it could be uh, ESPN, it could be your browser, it could be whatever app you want. So find the app that you're not getting notifications for. Now for me, I'll just say it's going to be ESPN. So I'm gonna work my way down. I'm gonna tap on the app in question. And then from here, you're gonna see a couple of things. So first of all, you're gonna see battery. So tap on battery. And in here, you might see that it's either unrestricted, optimized, or restricted in general. So if, if it, again, if it's an app you're, you're not getting notifications for, I would definitely recommend setting this to unrestricted. So it allows this app to use battery in the background without restrictions. This may reduce your battery life, but it's also gonna help if you're not getting notifications. So to, uh, click on unrestricted, hit the back button, under this, uh, this same uh, setting here, you're gonna go into notifications. Make sure that's set to allow notifications. You'll see it at the top there. So you'll hit allow sound and vibration or silent, whatever you want basically there. But ultimately, you're gonna want it to uh, the allow sound and vibration. That's what I would set it to. And then down below, you'll see notification types. You can tap on these different ones on how you want them to be allowed or not allowed. And then once you're done from there, you're good to go. You should definitely start getting notifications at this point for it. If you're not still, then something else is wrong, but this should definitely fix your issue of not getting notifications within certain apps. You can go back into there and do the same thing with the next app, like uh, whatever it is. Maybe it's your Delta app. So you tap on Delta and then again, go into battery, set it to unrestricted, go into notifications and turn them on and then go from there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.